Yo, what's goody boxing heads and fight fans around the world? Be March with another boxing video. So it might it's not yet official, but the date is tentative, June, um, September 30th, venue TBA to be announced. We're gonna have um kind of like a little little tournament for this um junior middleweight class, you know. Jamel Charlo is going to face his mandatory, Erickson Lubin, 18-0, and 0, uh, 13 KOs. The young 21-year-old is a mandatory for that WBC strap that Jamel Charlo holds. And September 30th is a date that they've given. I'll throw the links in the, for the article in the description box. And this is a big step-up fight, you know what I mean? Big step-up fight for the man Erickson Lubin, you know? And I got to give the man Jamel Charlo props, man. The guy, ever since he's had this belt... Hey, shit, excuse me. This is going to be a second title defense, you know what I'm saying? And he's going to have faced his mandatories. He faced, he faced um, the, the Charles Hatley kid from Dallas. Charlo put damn near put him to sleep. Nothing damn near. He did literally. He, he, put, he put him to sleep for real. Then he had killed the man, you know what I'm saying? Um, then, he, then he's going to take on Erickson Lubin. You know, that's another mandatory right there. This guy's not ducking his mandatories. He's taking them um he's going on he's taking them on head first and you gotta give him props for that, you know what I mean? Some guys do be trying to um delay their mandatories, make their mandatories wait, you know, looking for any way to get out of that fight. You know, Kell Brook did fight the man Errol Spence, but you could tell he was trying to get out of that fight by any means necessary, you know what I mean? You know, there's been a lot of instances of fellas ducking a mandatory. Remember when Victor Postal was Danny Garcia's mandatory? That fight never happened. You know what I'm saying? We waiting on Elidia Alvarez versus, um, what's his name, Madonna Stevenson. I believe that mandatory is going to happen. Excuse me. Hey. Superman ain't got no choice. He got to make that happen. You know what I'm saying? Um... You know, there's been plenty of mandatories, man. I remember back when, when uh, even look at Tyson Fury versus uh, 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 Charles Martin. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, or was it Glowacki? Glowacki was actually the mandatory, you know what I mean? You know, the man Tyson Fury wasn't ducking Glow. No, is it Glowacki or Glowaski? You know that one dude who always got a lot of gift decisions, you know what I'm saying? Got gift decision against um, the Polish guy, Thomas Adamick. Got a gift decision against Chilamba. And then they got, a, you know, but Charles Martin ended that streak. Excuse me. You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That Glowaski guy, you know what I mean? So there have been many instances where fellas don't face their mandatories for whatever reason. You remember when the man, uh, Madonna Stevenson, was was um, was Carl Froch's mandatory? Carl Froch did anything and everything he could to avoid that fight. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, you know? But I'm happy that Art Erickson, Lubin, and Charlo will be fighting. Do I think it's a big step up? Might be too early for Lubin. I think it might be. He's only 21 years old, you know what I'm saying? But hey, he's been wanting this opportunity. He's been looking good, you know what I'm saying? He fought a guy named Jorge Cota or Cota. And he disposed of him quick, fast, in a, in a hurry on that uh, CBS, PBC on CBS, Danny Garcia versus. Keith Thurman undercard, and that's another thing, man. Al Heyman puts these young prospects on national TV, not no Showtime shit. <laughs> You're gonna put you on PBC on NBC or PBC, PBC on Fox or PBC on CBS. Al Heyman's done the same for Marcus Brown. He only fights on primetime PBC cards, and they they did the same for Errol Spence. You know what I'm saying? Before Errol Spence got to fight. Um, Kell Brook on Showtime in the afternoon. His previous fights were, C were PBA PBC cards on NBC. You know what I'm saying? So that's a good look for Al Heyman putting these guys on national TV to build them, 
build them to the point where we can see them fight in French contenders. And then they become world champs, you know what I mean? So that's a fight that's going to be on the card. And the other fight will be um, Jorge Couto. I said Jorge Couto. What's his name? Austin Trout will be facing IBF champion from the 301 from um, Akikik, Maryland. Justin Hurd, you know what I'm saying? Justin Hurd, the IBF champion. This is a voluntary defense, you know what I'm saying? That's the reason why Austin Trout is getting another opportunity at a world title shot. After coming off a loss, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't too happy about that, but I'm finding out it's a voluntary defense. And I'll give the man Justin um, Justin Hurd props, you know what I'm saying, for fighting this guy, um, a former world champ. Because he doesn't have to. It's a voluntary defense, you know what I mean? Maybe Al Heyman and them put pressure on her to give this guy, just uh, Austin Trout, a, a title shot. Because the way it seems, um, Al, um, Justin, um, Austin Trout is favored by Al Heyman, you know what I'm saying? He's gotten um, opportunities at world titles. He's uh, even a commentator, I think, on PBC on Bounce, Bounce TV. You know, so these guys, you know, he's kind of favored, you know what I'm saying? So I'll give Justin Hurd props for taking on a tough guy like Austin Trout. Might not be the hardest hitter, but he's a good boxer, a dangerous southpaw, man, you know, who has some good victories under his belt, you know what I'm saying? Even though he is declining, he's on a, he's kind of on a Robert the Ghost Guerrero um, kind of pass, passage, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> path you know but not getting knocked out or getting you know but you know he's been on a decline i don't think austin trout can beat any of the world champs at 154 right now you know what i'm saying can't beat lara um you know i don't know what he'll do with this with the with the charlo brother you know I, i'd favor the jamel charlo brother to beat him and Justin Hurd is a young dude, you know. If if he can't beat Justin Hurd, then Austin Trout, you know, has no shot at 154. So this is a good card, man. You know what I'm saying? It's either going to be a double header or a triple header, more than likely on Showtime. I don't think these this card would be popular enough to be put on a on a PBC card. You know what I mean? So more than likely it'll be on Showtime, and. Uh, they should throw the man Eris Landy Lara in there just for good measures, like how they did the last time they had a a triple header for the junior middleweights on Showtime, you know what I mean? Who would I want um, the man Lara to fight? Andrade. Make that happen, man. September 30th, what are we? What are we in? Um, What is like today? Ju July, July the 20th? July the 20th to... August twentieth would be a month. That's four weeks. Yeah, they have they have more than eight weeks till September thirtieth. They have a training camp. You know what I'm saying? If they can announce the fight now, get the press conferences out the way, announce it, man. Put the man Lara versus Andrade on that card. You know what I mean? I'm sure the man Ernest Landy Lara would love that fight. You know what I'm saying? Lara don't duck nobody. You know what I mean? I don't know, I can't say the same for Andrade if he'd want that fight immediately. But if he did take it, I would be surprised. And he's a great talent. But he, he, he definitely needs to fight one of these other fighters rather than picking up a vacant WBO belt and fighting Vanus Martirosin and getting dropped, you know what I'm saying, by Martirosin, although he did win the whole fight. b Marsh Boss, let me know what y'all think about this little card right here. You know what I'm saying? You know, the junior middleweight division, it needs some... Uh, you know, it needs some life in that division, you know what I'm saying? There's some good fighters, but it's kind of dull as far as the personalities and, um, you know what I'm saying? And and also guys unifying, you know? These guys have been champions for a while now, you know what I mean? Like, they, we haven't had a unification in this division since, like, Floyd and Canelo or Floyd and, or Canelo and Austin Trout, you know what I mean? And that was a long time ago. I'm talking about 2013, man, and those two play, those two guys basically not even active in the division cannoli and floyd so we got new blood in the division them fellas need to unify 
be Marsh Box and leave your thoughts and comments. Let me know what y'all think about this double proposed double header and triple head on on the thirtieth of thirtieth of September. Venue TBA. Be Marsh Box and I'm out. Peace.